that gun away. Now, you men are strangers in these parts, but I know your reputation. That's what I want you to do. There are three men camped tonight in the ghost town on Mystery Mountain. They've got a strong box with them containing some papers that I want. There's $300 in advance. There'll be 300 more in it when you deliver that box to me, unopened. The ghost town of Mystic is a perfect spot for an attack. Get that box and meet me here tomorrow night. Well, Bert, ain't he? But his money looks good to me. Sure wish I knew who he is. What difference does it make as long as he pays for the job? It's curious, that's all. Well, forget it. We haven't got anything to do till we roll into that ghost town in the morning. So come on, let's get started. That's me. Glad it's your turn to guard that box, eh? Why? Well, uh, I'm positively positive it's going to be stolen. What makes you so sure, Panhandle? Nobody knew we took the trail across Mystery Mountain. Well, the thing I saw on you we did, Jim. All right, all right, Panhandle. Let's have it. What did you see? Well, uh, last night while I was guarding that strong box, I dreamed it was stolen by a ghost. Last night you had a dream? Yeah. You were asleep on guard duty. Hey, wait a minute. 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 <laughs> Are you two sure this is a real ghost town? What's it look like? Driving Metropolis? Well, sure, there must be somebody lives here. Nobody except the Rattlesnake. and Rattlesnake. <laughs> Attention up the street.
Don't think I said that town was deserted. Not a soul around except snakes and tarantulas. Well, there were snakes, all right. Four of them. Oh, you're wrong, Jim. Those men weren't snakes. They're big game hunters, and they thought we was buffalo. That's the mule, Pan Anno. We'll stay here and watch the bus. All right. Who are you, and what are you doing to that mule? My name is Dry Wash Thompson. The mule belongs to me, and I'm taking him prospecting. Oh, if it's your mule, what's your name? Name? Uh, Millie. Oh, no, no, it ain't. Firefly. And if you don't believe that mule can make Firefly, you got a surprise coming. But go on, mount up. I'm taking you with me for pilfering a dumb animal. All right, I'll go along with you. Might be able to interest you in a lost mine. Oh, you ain't gonna do no gold digging in the cement floor of a jail. No, oh, you don't know nothing about riding a mule. Here, take my horse. I'll show you. Hey, oh, come on, mule, get up. Well, hey, go on, partner. Get back here and get this mule off my mouth. Get up. Oh, help! Get up, you! Come on! Get up! Come on, you awful! Let's go, get And you say Panhandle told you to take his horse? Yep, sure did. Said he'd ride the mule. You turn loose my mouth. You mule thief, I mean you horse thief. It's all tough. Now, look at here. First, I find a stray mule and you accuse me of stealing it. Then you tell me to ride your horse and accuse me of stealing it. I'm getting all confused. Well, hold it. Maybe we can help you straighten it out. Did you by any chance see those men who opened fire on us? No. Nope. I was bunked up in the Fargo office and I didn't hear a thing until I heard the shot. Well, what are you doing around here? Well, I'm looking for a lost vein of a lost mine that got lost on Lost Creek. And turn Mystic into a ghost town. Well, that's perfectly clear. Now, what was you doing with that? The, the most important thing is to get this box into Dry Valley. Well, it'll be all right in there. Nobody knows the combination of this space with me. Those men who jumped you wouldn't have a chance of getting it out of there. You can pick it up tomorrow morning and take it on over to Carson. Oh, by the way, Lucy's picked you up some grub over at her house. She's a mighty good cook. Maybe that's what I'm going to marry so she can wait on table at home instead of over at Fabian's trading post. Say, the way to reach a man's heart is to reach stomach. Right now, you can reach my bag ball. Not that bad. <laughs> well, I guess we can fix that up if you boys like fried chicken. You just lead us to it, Miss Warren. Give me a plan and we'll go ahead. I think I'll stick around here until you get back. And don't you let them eat all that chicken, will you? Oh, well, that's just yours in the oven, so they can't get it. <laughs> See, I'm honest, I ain't really hungry. You go first, Ted. Eh? Get along with you. Yeah, I'll take this mule over to my corral. Well, wait a minute. I'll take him for you. Oh, no, you don't. You come along with me so I can keep my eye on you. Oh, you go there. Whoa, come down from there. Come down from there. You walking. I'm doing the riding this time. <laughs> Come on, get going. Move along. You missed it. Well, why didn't you tell us there were rangers? What difference does that make? Nevertheless, you can keep the money. That's mighty generous of you. I only need one man for the job I want done tonight. How much money is it? Five hundred. I'll take it. Oh, no, you won't. I'll let you two. I'm taking over. That gun away. You want the sheriff down on it? Yes. Yeah. Draw a card. High man goes. Jack of hearts. Play it down. Ace of spades. All right, you two. Get yeah. out. I suppose you 
suppose you want me to use this. Put that gun away. I think you're afraid of shooting us. Not that I'm afraid of them. They just make me nervous. Yeah. Well, I think you're lying. But go ahead and tell me what you want me to do. And you can fork over the usual advance. find that lost mine on Mystery Mountain? Why, with that gold, you'd have enough to buy a whole company of rangers to escort you around. Now, look here, dry wash. Why don't you quit tempting me? Remember, you're my prisoner, and I'm taking you to the ranger station in Norwalk for seeing a move. Oh, shucks. As representative of the settlers of Dry Valley, Captain Wyatt. I insist you take immediate action. Dad, if you'll just give me a chance to explain, I no explanation is necessary. You have admitted you're a hog guide like a wall-eyed cat. Do you three realize by letting the money in that box get away that you struck at the heart of every settler in Dry Valley territory? That money was to be used in building a dam to water the land and protect us ranchers from drought. What you had to do to get that money? Love. 
We all signed sharecropper contracts with Kurt Fabian as a guarantee that he would get the money back which he loaned us. With plenty of rich crops in the water, the ranchers could have paid Fabian back in three or four years. And now we'll be forced to give up half of every dollar we earn. Well, you surely don't think Fabian will put the squeeze on the ranchers, do you? I know the selfish, grasping man. The kind that would make slaves out of the settlers of this territory. Captain Wyatt, I demand you remove these three men from the rangers. All this trouble has been caused by your carelessness. There's nothing for me to do but order you to turn in your badges. I'll do with my men. We'll comb the territory until I find that box. Settlers or no settlers, he didn't have to take my badge away. I'm going to find that money and bring it back. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, you ain't going alone, man. Here, I'll cool down. Wait a minute. I'm getting tired hanging around here. When are you going to lock me up? No, I ain't. I just quit the ranger so you can go. You quit? Well, wait a minute. Then you can help me look for gold. Well, uh, if I do, we got to help cash at the same time. Oh, sure, sure. Okay. We'll need a pack wheel to carry our grub sticks. Well, uh, Firefly is a ranger. I ain't want no part of stealing a mule. Well, who said anything about stealing? Why, well, I seen him follow you all around. Well, he does follow me everywhere I go. Well, suppose you just start walking there. signs and message. What do you mean, that's him? The man that stole the song box. Wait a minute. You've been saying all along that a ghost took it. Well, that's right. He's from a ghost town, so he's a ghost. Hey, I just realized you made a mule thief out of me. Well, how come? The mule followed you, didn't he? So don't worry. Don't worry? You realize they shoot men around here for horse stealing? Well, there you are. You're in the clear then, because it's a mule. Hey, come on in, you two. You can argue later. Hello, Miss Warren. Well, uh, <laughs> glad to see you, even if I didn't get any of that chicken. Yes, but I'm not glad to see you. Hmm, I eat today, you might not eat tomorrow. No guns laying. No liquor drunk on these for nemesis. Uh, can we have a cup of coffee? Not for me. Perhaps Mr. Fabian will serve you, but I won't. Well, where is Mr. Fabian? He'll be back presently. Senorita, how are you? My sense is no good, I assure you. I mean you no wrong. I'll sing you my song about the gay renegade El Lobo. He was not the wild riding caballero. For his singing, he got no dinero. He had eyes like the pig, and his heart he was big. And his part, he was built like the rhino. And this is the way he would sing all day. <laughs> 
On the cart you can see he was so so. In the middle he sang with big gusto. On the finish he broke like a frog he would croak. Cause he had too much of the vibrato. Nothing like a good song to cheer the heart. Lucy, take this over to Mr. Jerry's, will you please? Hell, I'm a big guest. Food for the family? Are you Kurt Fabian? That's right. Say, do you own that ghost town up on Mystery Mountain? Yes, I own it. Bought it all. You know what? That was a real town. I live like a king, gentlemen. Not as you see me now. <laughs> well, I thought you had plenty of money. You loaned a lot to the settlers, didn't you? Yes, but uh, I felt they needed my help. Sad thing about that money being stolen. Well, of course, you're not going to hold them to that agreement. Well, I most certainly am. After all, it isn't my fault if the money's gone. I expect to get back every penny with interest. Well, I'm a disappointed man. With that damn bill, I saw Mystica boom town again. I could open the Golden Bar dance hall, fill it with girls. Make Mystic a center of excitement. Yeah, a center of sin, you mean, don't you? Hey, how about some ham and eggs? Pleasantly. Please uh, tell them when we're here ahead of you. Well, uh, what'll it be, boys? Oh, we want some coffee. Make mine strong. <laughs> If anything happens to Sam at the hands of the ranchers, you three will suffer for it. Nothing is going to happen to him, ma'am. I'll be all right. I'm doing no cooking until I straighten up this room. Are you the one that cook or not? I'm cooking if you two will help me clean up this mess. We're going to help you in more ways than you think. What do you mean? Now, don't get excited. We'll tell you when Trigger gets here. Hey, I don't want you guys laughing at me anymore, but do you know that dream's been bothering me? 
That ghost kind of haunting you, is he? Yes, he is. Uh, say, Jim, do you think there's anything in dreams? Kind of fine, though. Was there anything more to it than you told us? Yes, there was. That ghost just kept wandering around that town of Memphis. What was he doing? You know, I think he was wandering. Say, Tex, I don't believe much in dreams, but suppose we do a little wandering around that ghost town ourselves. It'll give us a chance to look for that lost mine. Well, it's a thing we're not gathering any evidence around here. Hmm, nothing but flies. Say, that reminds me of a little. What's that four feet and flies? A horse. Oh. Well, cargo space. 
Why should they buy another for the new office in Dry Valley when they can bring one down from here? Well, if that safe came from here, then somebody else besides Dan Benson knows the combination. And who do you think that would be, Pat Hammer? Oh, my goal! The man that owns this town, Kurt Fagan. Kurt Fagan, that's right, unless I miss my guess. Now we're heading someplace. I need to also know about the money. Yeah, but we can't just bust in and start asking questions. What we've got to do is trail him. See, if Kurt Fagan can't get stone box someplace, we'll catch him red handed. Then maybe you'll believe my dream. We sure will, Panhandle. In fact, we're going to let you dream every night. Yes. And we'll even get you a nine stop bed so your sleep won't be disturbed. Oh, God, I sure sure thanks. Last time we were waiting for you, and now you're waiting for us. Yeah, sorry if we kept you waiting. I just rode up. I hope you three came into town the back way like I told you. We you followed your instructions to the letter. Now you follow ours. Produce that strong box. I will, on one condition. If you three clear out after you get your share. Well, we thought you were going to be friendly. Sure, you didn't think all we were interested in was the few thousand dollars you got in that box. We told you we're moving in. We're going to live off the side of the land, just like you were planning to do. Listen, Fagin, for years and years to come, for every dollar you take off of those ranches, we get half of it. No. No, I won't have it that way. Ain't that not there but the move. I swear I heard voices. I get what time that'll go.
funny about this place. It's full of people, but we can't find nobody. Hmm. Hey, did you do that? No, didn't you? No. I don't know about you, but I'm getting out where the spaces are wide open. Me too. Hey, what are you luck, Jim? No, they had too much of a lead on me. Well, I think the man I tangled with was the one that dropped the loop over me. about all that shooting. But it's awful dark in there. Uh, what are you scared of? Uh, ghosts don't shoot guns. Guns don't shoot ghosts, neither. There's something in there. But I ain't going in until Tex and Jim get back here. You know, there's something funny about this. He wasn't shot. There wasn't a mark on him in any place. Well, plenty of shots were fired. Look at all the fresh bullet holes here on the floor. And what do you think he was? Hard thirty? No, I think they were shooting at his feet, and then he was so scared he died. Well, he darn near died when your father fired those shots in the store. Except he, uh, this ain't the way I dreamed it, but he sure is a ghost now. Uh, that hot trail we're on drew cold awfully fast. My father away from the money than ever now. You know, I still think Benson's mixed up in this someplace. Maybe he knows where the box is hidden. Those fellows who high-tailed it out of here didn't have it. Well, I'll bet my bottom dollar they were trying to scare Fabian and to tell him where it was. Yeah, I think you've got it, Sam Handel. And if they didn't find it, it's a sense they won't leave these parts until they do. Neither will we. Beneath the western sky above, lay me down to dream, and I'll have the one I love, join me in my scheme, let me ride the train. Stand by. We're here, Captain Lyon, as you suggested. Now, what have you to report? I've made no further progress than last reported. There's no evidence connecting Benson here with the robbery. We're tired of your excuses, Captain. Unless you produce results by tomorrow, we're going to take steps to have you removed from office. I've seen you safely back, Benson. Good day. I hope this thing's cleared up quickly. It'll settle it will force your father to resign. Yeah. And it would break his heart. Oh, uh, tell me, Benson. Did that safe in your office come from the ghost town? After what's happened, I shouldn't be to have any further interest in this case. Well, after what's happened, I'm more interested than ever. Was that safe ever in the Fargo office? Yes. You see, my father used to be the agent of Mystic. Why? 
We think Fabian knew the combination of the safe and stole the money and hid it in that ghost town. And we're going to have a thorough search made of Missy. Well, what about those three men you were telling me about? Oh, uh, we're going out and try and find their trail now. Sorry we caused you so much trouble, Benson. Well, next time I hope you catch the right thing. Yeah, I hope we do. Take the bait, and unless I miss my guess, he'll head straight for that ghost city, and we'll be right on his trail. Uh, Sam? Yes? Why do you suppose they told you they were going to search that town? Because they still think I stole that box. But if I didn't, I know where to look for it. Mm -hmm. I might. There's a spot my father used to hide the money before the Wells Fargo Company sent him a safe. And... I wonder if... Fabian could have known about that, too. I'm going to have a look. Wait. I think you should tell the Rangers about this. Well, I should say not. If the way they treated me, I'd like to find that box and turn it over to Captain White just to show them up. Well, I'm going with you. You see that lost mine is lost on Lost Bane Creek on Misty Mountain? No, I didn't. I said that Ralph Bale of Lost Creek was lost on Misty Mountain. Well, maybe I'm dumb, but you sure can lose your way when you start explaining where that mine is. Oh, shucks. Here, wait a minute. I'll show you Lost Creek on this here map. Sure, it's right black star. Well, then it ain't lost anymore, is it? No, uh, yes. Huh? Are doing up in Mystic. Quick way to find out is trail them. Get a rope to tie him up and we'll take the 
to mark our side. Where you do your stuff, Firefly. Be patient, baby.
Well, good work, Panhandle. We decided not to let you fire us, sir. We'd like to turn over these prisoners and the money to you. Technically, you were never out of the ranges. I neglected to send your resignations into headquarters. Now, thanks to you boys, I won't have to send in my own. While the guard is along, we will whistle a song. With my pal by my side, down the trail we will run. And the herd will rise, through the great divide, till we pass it over Nobody lives. This has sure been a busy place. Up high in the stars, the sky shining down on you and me. Ride with me on the range, through the whistling rain. 